This is the final video in the Lunar Greenhouse Lab series. I guess I've done 10 parts on camera for you. I started off creating just the base sort of of the, of the ship or of the lab. I moved on to create these uh, fan units and I did the, the gas cylinders and a little bit more work on the fan units and, and then I moved up top and did the, uh, the satellite dishes and antennae and a few things around the side uh, I showed you a few things uh, I think in in this video here I uh, or I showed you a little bit about how I did the door and the and the ramp and uh, then we moved on and I I modeled and textured uh, the specimen uh, container here for plants I did the lab cart and I textured uh, the, the fan unit here and then I went back because I had decided I wasn't going to mirror it I was just going to copy it over so I retextured the fan unit and I, fetched, I textured the gas cylinders and then I textured the satellite dish and antenna for you and then I said okay I'm just going to go ahead and and do the rest of it uh, you know off camera and on my own and I would come back and show you what I've done all right so I'm going to show you now uh, the renders that I've got and this is uh, done in Eevee and I have to leave it at this point because I have uh, I've got a family and I've got other projects going on so here's what I've got here's the ship all right, it's so all textured in Substance Painter, nothing in Blender. All right, so there's sort of a three-quarter uh, view. You can see the, the um, emissions here on the front uh, door, the hatch part there. And I've added some text and some various details and the bars here and you know stuff along the side that wasn't there. You can get a sneak peek in the inside here. Uh, I guess I textured the solar blind, put a little bit of a handle there so we'll have a look inside this is the back view where we had that back um, panel or that back uh, stand and I created a door I wanted it different than the front and so you can see here I've got the glass and I've got some plants in here glowing now I will say that I forgot to sort of rotate these and I didn't make any changes to the plant so they're all exactly the same I'm sorry to point that out I don't know if that makes you see it and then you can't unsee it um, these are all instances um, so that you know I made one of them and I just instanced it along that you know helps me reduce the poly count and it's easier to you know if I make a change to one of them then it just reflected all the way through um, but I've got some button panels in here. I've got a little monitor there, and I've got the overhead light there. So let's go ahead and just look at a few different ones. And there's a top view of the of the greenhouse, and there's a front view of the door, and another view. So we've got some text along the side, some symbols, and some various things. Everything's everything's textured. And this is the last one just to show you the inside at the back door we've got some text along the side here and you can see uh, the incubators all right so that was uh, a lot of fun I hope it was interesting to you or or if you're learning blender if you learned a few things or if you watched a little bit about my texturing and substance painter there really is nothing special that I did uh, beyond that you know I did the I textured everything okay including the glass and you know I put the bolts in you know you saw me do that before various emissions of course they could be toned down a little bit the button panel is in there um, and that's it that uh, I have to leave uh, this uh, behind I think probably my favorite image is this back one anyhow we're gonna leave it at that and we're gonna move on to other things I'll be announcing uh, very soon uh, another blender challenge which will be on uh, the zero bio discord and I'll leave a link to that when I announce it it's going to be retro so if you're interested in that kind of a thing uh, then join the challenge but I'll talk more about that later so thanks very much for persevering if you have through 11 videos uh, in this series I think I'm going to stick with doing simple objects for the next little while and then I'll be itching to do a big scene again so take care of yourselves and hopefully we'll see you again soon